Hi guys, Ashantin here. How are you? I thought you might like to see my library now that it is, I wouldn't say finished, because I think there are other details that could be added. But I think sometimes when you do a, um, a huge build, and this is quite a big one for me in terms of time, um, it's quite good to take a break and think about what you want to do. So first of all, let's have a look at that roof. Oh, <laughs> I'm in the water. I'd forgotten I had a pond there. <laughs> That's a great start to a video, isn't it? Let's look at the roof. Splash. Now that proportion is a lot better. It's very much in line with the sort of Baba Yaga type roofs I've been doing on this server. The flange I think is right now, this is the flange, I'm calling this bottom layer of cobble the flange, uh, because I've done cobble blocks to make the height and the size of the room come out chunky enough. I've had to put torches all over it so it's very pretty at night. And the cobble brick at the top is of course the chimney from the library fireplace. You may or may not have noticed that we have a new waterfall here. There was always a pond on the other side of that bridge but it went nowhere and it was one of these really deep ponds that's a bit useless. So I dug out a channel and put a waterfall which I think improves the look of the whole area because it was quite a boring approach. And I have put a bridge there which is a small bridge but it's in the same style as the big bridge. So that is all improved. Or at least I think it's improved. So coming around here, the trees still have to be sorted out. I have built this road up a little bit. These trees, the one I have my cursor on is a nice tree. But this one and this close one, they're a bit ugly looking from this road. So I think I'll take both of them down and grow other trees that hopefully will look better. The road then continues around here into the library. I have extended the beams down a little pathway. So I think the road now, it's just a little bit better than the flat stone. I have altered the lighting up here to match the pattern that Dog had set up so that it's not sort of wildly all over the place. One of the reasons I wanted to think about this area is I'm trying to decide whether to suspend lights from the ceiling or not. Um, I would love to suspend redstone lamps, but get, that gets very, very heavy. Really, I want sort of um, a line of iron and then one block at the bottom. And that really leaves you with ordinary glowstone pumpkins, which would then have a face on one side, or the magma blocks, which I don't think hold the light. Anyway, to start off with, I have copied the cobblestone fence from the bridge and I have put, and also this doesn't link up with the wood, whereas most things do, so I've put these around. I wanted to use iron bars, but you can't put a torch on top of one iron bar. I have labelled all the chests where we can put our books and I think, do we have one book in? Yes, we have this over here. There we are, enchanted books. So over the period of time, we will be building up on these. So this has all finished in construction terms. I still have to put some carpet down. I think red with the grey. I've put a forge up here because if one's using enchanted books, you would want to use a forge. The ender chest I've left here and a workbench. And I think that will give people things to go on. There's plenty of chests if you want to store things. And basically, guys, bring your own bed. I didn't think that a bed should be left in a library. So going on down, our skelly spawn is at the bottom here. And as I said, I am going to take this out, I think. And then we have, when we're at the bottom, we have one view up. Yeah, then we can look up and see the pathways going up. 
Um, there's a chest full of, I think that's all dog stuff, it's certainly not mine. So if anyone owns that chest, fine, but that's not mine. And then going down to the skelly spawner, which is looking good. We now have a bedroom. Look at this. And it works amazingly well. Somebody has moved. I, The ender chest is okay, apparently. I didn't realise that if you put something on the corner uh, bookcases, it stops them acting. Because apparently, whereas at the front of the bookcases give the... Um, XP points here. For the corner ones it comes out of the corner. So I have learned something. That's one of the beauties. Wow. That's one of the beauties of being on a server with other people. You learn an awful lot. So guys, on that note I shall say bye bye. See you soon. Bye.